Hello, my beautiful hoodsters. Thank y'all so much for looking at the video yesterday. Let's say prayers, and I'm going to tell y'all what we're going to be eating today. Father God, thank you for this beautiful and blessed awesome day. Order our steps in your word. Let your word come out like milk and honey to many. Forgive me of the sins I've committed against you by any word of the Lord. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and lovely body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. You know, yesterday I told y'all some of my rolls are getting thicker, meaning I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like getting a little thicker. So today, y'all, we are going to eat salad. And, you know, y'all, look at that chicken. You know, that leftover chicken from last night. <laughs> you know, I'm that leftover girl. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> so, in this salad, we have lettuce, tomato. You know, that little piece of chicken they, they put y'all in that salad. We have some uh, a yellow and red bell peppers and some lettuce and some bacon. A boiled egg. So, yeah, we fit to get it in. We're going to get this thing started, y'all. I'm going to see if I can't do healthy maybe a couple of days a week, maybe three days a week. I'm not a vegetarian and I'm not vegan, so I'm not going in that way because I like meat. Uh-uh. I love meat. So, look here. Today, all that drinking all week, today I'm just going to do some water. Replenish my body. <laughs> Flush out all that alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I have to do today, y'all. I do have some bread and butter pickles I'm going to put on my salad. And, of course, you know, we have to have the, the ranch dressing as well. Uh, so let's do this. Thank y'all for coming back, my hoosters. All my new hoosters that's coming in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and comment as well. Give me some healthy uh, stuff that, you know, I can eat, uh, if you will. Come on in. Take a seat. Bring your water, your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, whatever you're drinking today. Bring your snacks, your food, and let's sit down. We're going to sip or drink the water. <laughs> we got to chat as well. So thank you all so much for coming back. Yes. So, salute. Let's taste the good stuff. Yum, yum. Water is good, though. Mm -hmm. If y'all have been looking at all of my videos, uh, I did two videos with Kirk, uh, Kirk and Jay's barbecue and, of course, the uh, spicy hot white jelly. Uh, I, I hope that I will get a sponsor. I'm new here, so I really don't know what to expect, y'all. So can y'all, all, all the uh, people who, the veterans <laughs> of YouTube, if y'all are looking at my videos, can y'all give me some pointers to um, how I can uh, get some sponsors? Uh, yeah, because I think, uh, you know, everybody say I miss my calling as an advertiser or a... Um, Seller, I, that was not my background. My background is uh, administration duties. So, uh, I think I can sell anything, though. So, y'all, let's get in. I'm so hungry today. I had one boiled egg today. Yesterday, my family was here. We ended up making deviled eggs last night while we watched the game and had a couple of drinks. And um, so, yeah, uh, I used all my previously boiled eggs. So I only had one left for this morning, and that's what I had. So I'm getting ready to get it in. I'm bringing this plate down just a bit, y'all, because I'm hungry, and we have to cut it up, and oh, I'm so ready to eat. How is y'all day going? Oh, listen to that crunch, y'all. Isn't it beautiful? You know you're about to uh, come like a little rabbit <laughs> and kind of munch down on all this healthy stuff. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, I love salad, though. You know, of course, my favorite salad is pasta salad with uh, tuna fish uh, in it. I love that. So I'll be making that as well. Uh, 
I don't know what I'm going to eat on the side. Maybe some uh, seasoned cucumbers soaking in a little red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. And Italian dressing. Maybe I can do that. But uh, I don't know how to fix a small bowl of, of uh, pasta salad either, y'all. But uh, yeah. Do y'all like bread and butter pickles on y'all salad? Y'all remember uh, this place called uh, Super Super Salads? And they had those wonderful pickles you could put on your salad. Man, I tell you, now, those pickles, I, I love those pickles. Well, I love the place itself, so y'all. And my favorite day was to go on Fridays because they had gumbo. Oh, y'all, it's getting cold down here in Texas. Now, we're we not cold like some of you guys. We uh, we got the baby stuff, <laughs> if I can say that. We, we, we don't have the snow and all that, y'all. Every now and again, we can have a little bit of ice. And, of course, the whole city shuts down. I think that's enough cutting, y'all. The whole city shuts down when we get a little icy road, and then everybody else is digging out, out up out of snow. But uh, I was thinking today as I looked at the weather, Oh, y'all, happy MLK Day as well. Uh, I didn't do none of the parades here. I watched them on TV, though. Okay, y'all, I think I've cut enough. I'm hungry, so if I keep cutting, I'm stuff going to be looking like shreds. Oh, the girl, uh. All right, I'm hungry, shoot. Oh, y'all, you know, they did give me some little dressing. What is, I think this is Caesar dressing, y'all. I'm not sure. I'm going to taste it. I ain't gonna use it all. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry, sure. Y'all, I saw, uh, I think it was B Love and Nate eating that um, taco. Um, Nachos party box. I had it. I threw I threw so much of that food away, y'all, when I did that all by myself. So I think it's good to have somebody to eat it with you. Mm. I would like to do it again. Because the nachos really was good. So, um... Everybody's just doing so wonderful. Mm-hmm. I'm tell you again. I do have my faves. I know I'm supposed to start my uh, my life, my story, life goes on, but y'all, I can't even remember. Why I left out on Friday, honey. It, we went through the weekend, baby. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to have to go back to a video and see where I left out yet. Here y'all, take a bite. Come on. Yeah, I don't know where I left out, but I'm really thinking, too. I don't know. So much has happened over this weekend. So many things. Has happened over this weekend. You know, family is so important, y'all. I do come from a broken, a broken. I do come from a broken background. Our family was not tight niched at all, at all. It's so many years that we didn't see our mom and. Because she was mad at us or we held something against her. And so
I've prayed many, many years for God to heal our families, and not just mine, but so many, because there's so many broken families, y'all. Oh, my God. So many broken children from the broken families, and they're scattered about and outside of your door. I don't care what you teach your child inside. There's a, a whole new world outside of the door, honey. Us mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, any uncles, we all have to stay prayed up for our children today. Temptation does not take a vacation for none of us. So, oh, y'all, water is so good. But, When we do come together, and especially, well, my mother stays about 45 minutes away from me. So I go to mother's every other Saturday or when I'm in the neighborhood, I, I go again if I'm out shopping or something. And then my baby, my oldest son, live closer to me than my other children, but we all try to come together. I think sometimes my oldest baby, I would say, Mom, if you had not taught me, I wouldn't know. I wasn't a a bad mother, but I, I know I, I made some mistakes because, you know, look, you know, look at my life, what I went through with my mom. And sometimes we have to break that generational curse. Somebody got to do it. So I'm glad that my children like to hang with their mama because I'm really a cool mother. I am. And I have now, y'all. Okay, y'all know I got my discipline. I'll discipline. But I'm, I'm so down to earth. I came from a long way of stuff, y'all, and I learned. I'm still learning. But I'm so humble now and thankful and grateful for everything. Y'all look at that pickle. It's going in. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. That bread and butter pickle. Go oh, fabulous with this salad. Trying to get some of that bacon that fell down at the bottom. <laughs> this is good. Y'all know. Oh, I keep getting off course, y'all. Because today I'm just rambling. Because I don't remember my story. <laughs> But I'm really a cool, laid-back girl. I love to um, to dance, y'all. I, I love to dance. I love music of all genres. My fave have to be between country western because I love to two-step R and B two-stepping as well. I love Zydeco. But every now and again, I just want to, that low-key, smooth jazz. Oh, my God. That will just mail you out. So, over my lessons and blessings and triumphs and whoopings from God and molded and scolded from God, uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I know how now to live. By one day at a time. Somebody that I'm communicating with, uh, actually on Saturday,
where do I see myself in five years? I hadn't been asked that question in life forever, so I had to think about it. I have... That's a big old carrot, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I had to answer that question, and this is how I answered it. I'm, I'm trying to remember word for word. I said, well, I said, well, that I don't have the ability to see in the future, I can only hope that I would still be healthy and wise and be the best that I can be and accept whatever God laid down for me to have. That was my answer. Because I can say that I want this, this, and that. And I do. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be alive in five years. I can hope and pray to God that he, you know, keep me as long as he want to. For a good long life. But I don't know what I'm going to be doing in five years. I hope that I'm big on this YouTube uh, channel or community. I can hope that my grandchildren, it's just, I don't know. I already have a good job. I'm content. Even though I strive for betterment, that's why I'm now on YouTube because I know I have a story. I have a voice. I'm blessed to speak with authority. So I know that this is a good uh, platform. Oh, excuse me, y'all, for me. So maybe in five years, I'll be on a, on a, on a podium speaking to me and as I pray for you know, that God's word is going to come out like milk and honey to many as I pray. That can be, that don't even have to take five years too. Somebody can find me on here and say, oh my God, she is a good speaker. So, I don't know. How would y'all have answered that question? Comment below. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm on some hot sauce. I hope it don't get on my lettuce. I hope in five years that my baby, um, my barber, my child, that's a barber. He's got some great hands, y'all. His specialty is designs. Oh, he is so good. I always pray for his hands as well. That he can have his own shop. Over the next few years, five years, two years, one year. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Well, <laughs> that I'm thinking you know, I'm right here at the water, I'm five minutes away from all that open ocean, baby. In five years, maybe I can have one of them houses right there at that ocean. How about that? Sitting up high. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can have that house in five years that I've always dreamed about. I think if I keep doing the will of God, but you know, I just truly know that sometimes he says no. 
because he knows the purity in us. You know, sometimes we, we pray for selfish reasons and selfish gain. Motives. So, but, you know, I told you, I told y'all in one of my stories past that I know I have a gift of gab. I know me. I know who I am and whose I am. I know my I know it all. And so, um, I know it all. So, I paid to be on the stage in Hollywood. But I know now why he said no, because I was too promiscuous. I, honey, mm -mm, that wasn't a life for me. Mm -mm. And I thank him for keeping me from that life. So, you know, some things that I prayed for. It didn't come to pass. Maybe it wasn't the right time. It wasn't my season. I don't get mad about it, y'all, because it's just not for me at the moment. Or it just may not be for me at all. But I have when you when you when you when you look back, oh my god, I'm from Star Peaking. Mm -hmm. When you take a moment. And you look back over your life. Sometimes you got to look back over your life. And you got to see from where you was. Or where you were. To where you are. Man, my life is beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been at my lowest, y'all. I don't believe I've gone to the highest yet. Still alive. And I know God working on me as well. So I don't I don't think I've got to my highest point. I know that I'm on a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. I'm on a beautiful journey. So I don't complain, y'all. I don't complain.